Welcome to 30 to Unravel. I am your host, the devil. I'd like to talk to you today about my good friend, William Tapley, also known as the third eagle of the apocalypse and the co-prophet of the end times. And unlike other programs, I would also like to speak with you today about Harold Camping and the impending May 21st, 2011 rapture deadline. However, before I begin with any of that, I would like to apologize for not uploading any new videos over the past few months. I have been very, very busy. I have been organizing the One World Communist Government and fanning the flames of the Arab people and their demand for representative democracies. Freedom of thought and choice, after all, is the enemy of God and theistic dogma. In the past four months, I have met with the College of Cardinals about Pope John Paul, attended the royal wedding, assisted the Obama administration in the takedown of Osama bin Laden, and then had to build an addition in hell for Osama bin Laden and his 72 virgins. I even took a correspondence course from Liberty University. I must also apologize for missing William Tapley's 72nd birthday on the 3rd of April. Happy birthday, buddy. Remember, you only have two more years of this nonsense. That was the deal. On that note, Mr. Tapley has repeatedly pointed out how wrong Harold Camping and how Lindsay are in several of his videos. Again, I applaud his smug and prideful attitude that Mr. Tapley displays when talking about those he calls false prophets. However, I have very little doubt that after May 21st, 2011, Mr. Tapley will release a video pointing out that camp, the camping rapture deadline has come and gone and nothing happened. I predict that Mr. Tapley will point out this failure despite the fact that he remains dismissive or just plain silent about the fact that Americans still use stamps. The 45th Super Bowl took place. January 1st, 2011 came and went and there was no provocation of Russia or any other country. In other words, to date, every single prophecy William Tapley has had has ended in failure and he's never once admitted it. I suspect this is why we have seen a change or a slight shift in his co the content of his videos in recent months. And World War III is the trigger of the seven years of tribulation. The best of his failures, of course, being that William Tapley still insists that World War III began last November in the minor row between North and South Korea over an uninhabited island. It's worth pointing out that this was not the first skirmish between the Koreas since the well, Korean War ended, nor does anyone doubt it will be their last. But to William Tapley, it was the catalyst that started World War III, which he repeatedly said would start the tribulation. So how is everyone's tribulation going? Are all of you praying for mountains to fall on you yet? Have you been hiding in caves yet? Have you had to take the mark of the beast, or as I like to call him, Jimmy, Yet? No? Don't worry. I'm sure my good friend Third Eagle will soon have another half-assed answer for all of that as well. No fucking shit, lady! Do I sound like I'm ordering a pizza? I suppose the bottom line is that William Tapley is doing such a great job of being batshit crazy that I don't even need to comment on it further. His constant insanity, delivered with a smugness unmatched by anyone except for perhaps myself, is a reminder that crazy assholes are everywhere and all profits are false. Thank you, Mr. Tapley. Now, all that aside, I would like to talk to you today about Harold Camping and May 21st, 2011. As I'm sure many of you are aware, we are approaching the date that Harold Camping has set for the return of Jesus Christ. I could not let this monumental day come and go without comment. Camping and his followers believe that on May 21st, 2011, approximately 200 million people will be raptured from the earth, and that five months later, on October 21st, 2011, God will destroy the entire universe. Like dozens of prophets before him, Harold Camping has used a number of astrological dates, feast days, and other miscellaneous clues that only he can see floating off the pages of the Bible. 
Forget the fact that he was wrong in 1994. Harold Campbell means it this time. May 21st, 2011 is the day that Jesus is coming back. Unlike William Tapley, Harold Camping actually has some mainstream attention. A woman in Colorado Springs took out advertising space on park benches. Others used billboards, and some people have even decorated their vehicles, warning the world of the impending judgment to come. These people have blind faith. It goes without saying that their faith in camping state is not shared by everyone. Many Christian groups have dismissed these claims, and many more have pointed out that the Bible repeatedly states that no one, not even Jesus himself, knows the hour of his return. That is repeated throughout the New Testament, and yet every few years people like William Miller, William Tapley, Hal Lindsey, and Harold Camping come along and convince people that the return of Christ is right around the corner. Nobody should be surprised that William Tapley has been wrong every step of the way, or that Harold Camping was wrong in 1994, or will be wrong in 2011. Each is in good company with Jesus Christ. In Matthew, Mark, and Luke, Jesus is quoted as saying, Truly I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all of these things have taken place. Clearly, Jesus didn't return within the first century AD, so even he was wrong in predictions about himself. And he was supposed to be the Son of God, for Christ's sake. So what's a retired Ethan Allen worker to do? What's a retired civil engineer to do? Keep guessing, I guess. And what does old Uncle Devil think we should do? Embrace these dates. Embrace those that set the dates and make prophecies. Encourage them. Promote them. Because the more failed dates that come and go, the less credibility religion as a whole has. To borrow a page from the doctor's playbook, and you know who you are. If some psycho bitch is telling you about her past lives or the guardian angel, then the only question you should ask her is, and what was the angel's name? Yes, my friends, merrily I say to you, encourage them, encourage them greatly. I am sure to mainstream Christians, the idea that Jesus is returning on May 21st, 2011, is ridiculous and completely absurd. So tell me, mainstream Christian, is it any more or less ridiculous than a talking snake or a virgin giving birth? Is it any more or less ridiculous than a whale swallowing a man whole and keeping him in his belly for a few days? Is it more or less ridiculous than the belief that people were created in six days, 6,000 years ago? Some people, like Tom Cruise and John Travolta, believe that Xenu had space-faring DC-8s. Other people, like Glenn Beck and Mitt Romney, believe that God lives on planet Cola, that Native Americans are actually Jews, and that you can baptize their dead relatives to get them out of hell. Some people, like Sarah Palin, believe that Alaska will become the new Israel. Are any of these beliefs more or less ridiculous than any of the others? Is it any more or less ridiculous than the belief in a reanimated corpse or zombie god that gets all the credit when things work out, but none of the blame when children get AIDS or cancer or when hundreds of thousands of people are killed by a tsunami? It's not like those people mattered anyway, right? I mean, they were brown or poor or didn't believe in the right God, or maybe they were just being punished because of an alleged deal that their ancestors made with me three or four hundred years ago, right? They got together and swore a pact to the devil. They said, we will serve you if you'll get us free from the French. Mm. It's a true story. And so the devil said, okay, it's a deal. And uh, they kicked the French out. You know, the Haitians revolted and got themselves free. Thanks, Pat Robertson. That last bit of poison was especially wonderful. Keep up the good work. Every time you open your mouth, that's another person that hates religion, you festering piece of shit. So to all of you 2011 believers out there, I applaud you. Keep painting your cars and telling everyone you meet that Christ will soon be here and they're going to hell for X, Y, or Z. Each of you is going to have a fantastic day at work on Monday the 23rd as your coworkers secretly mock you. But remember, most of those people have beliefs that are just as ridiculous as yours, so you shouldn't feel too bad. I'm sure Harold Camping will come out with another book soon that you can buy that changes all the dates again. He'll undoubtedly find another mathematical error that just explains everything. 2011 sounds like a pretty good year. 2017 sounds like a great year. 
Maybe we'll choose that one. Oh wait, William Tapley already beat him to it. <laughs>